Hi, Nelson Greaves here for On the Harvard Time. We're here with Senator Mike Ravel, the Democratic presidential candidate. Senator Ravel, thank you for being here. Pleasure's mine. How's the campaign going right now? Well, I've been shut out from the get-go. You know, the, the, what uh, General Electric, uh, along with uh, several other networks, Corporate America, and uh, the Democratic Party under Howard Dean decided that they didn't want to have my voice uh, heard uh, that the American, the American people shouldn't hear what I've got to say, which is very simple. I want to empower the American people to be able to take control of this country. I want to end the war in Iraq now. I want to turn around and stop the military industrial complex from leading us from one war to the other and a whole host of things, particularly stopping the war on drugs. I mean, this is ridiculous what we're doing. Our, our national leadership is leading us from one stupid policy initiative to another. Now, uh, you, you certainly have a lot of uh, unique and, and very outspoken uh, opinions about issues, um, but you're also one of, the, one of the older candidates in the event. How have you been trying to reach out to people who, say, haven't lived through the Great Depression? Well, how I'm trying to reach out, I have the misfortune of being in a society that has a wrong tradition. If I were in China, my age would be an asset. Now that I'm in the United States, well, if I were the age of Paris Hilton, that would be an asset. So maybe, and I've heard this in Los Angeles, you know, 70s or 50s, gray is now blonde. But now, you, you've certainly been doing uh, unusual things to get your message out, uh, things targeted at a younger audience. Well, I mean, YouTube I'm, videos. Oh, wait a I gotta tell you, I haven't been doing it. It's the kids, you people have been doing that. The rock in the water, all of this YouTube stuff, all, that, that's all been done by other people. You fully support sending, sending people to college, um, but yet you're against the Electoral College. So <laughs> well, there's a bit of a difference there, Nelson. The Electoral College has got nothing to do with going to college. The Electoral College is put in place in order to protect slavery. And it's still there. And of course, slavery is gone. And so it still causes all kinds of mischief. What do you have to say about uh, Senator Obama, who claims to have inhaled and inhaled many times, in fact, that being the point. Don't you think this, in some ways, shows some kind of progress or, or some kind of merit on his part, part? Well, of course it shows merit. It shows he's got half a brain, that he was, as he was growing up, that he was out there to experiment with, uh, with marijuana. Well, I'd ask him, here, have you tried any Coke, Barack? I have. It didn't work on me. I've got sinus problems. Senator, you have a a clip on your site entitled, Hillary, your lips are moving, but you're lying. On a couple of instances in the course of the debate, she made statements about something that she did or was going to do. She was lying. She was not telling the truth. We, uh, we were looking at our own, uh, doing our own analysis, and we had come up with a few alternative uh, phrases, and I, I wanted to see what you thought of them. We had, Hillary, your, your legs aren't moving, but you're walking all over America. <laughs> now, you... you obviously are very dissatisfied uh, and at times get very worked up about the state of the country. When you just have too much stress, do you, do you have a way that you de-stress? The way I de-stress? Well, I'm de-stressing right now by <laughs> letting, my, let, letting my views out. When, uh, when we had on a hard time get a little stressed out, there's something we will. We, we, we say, you do. we go, I just, you, know, you, you want to try it with me? No, I don't want to try that. If you, if you had to pick the greatest nation on earth currently, who, who would you go with? Finland, of course. Finland. There's a, the Reader's Digest did a, did a great study. We Americans not only are in somewhat insane, we're schizophrenic. I have no problem killing a human being if one's trying to kill me. I love birds. I really have a problem killing animals gratuitously. On your Facebook profile, you, uh, you mentioned your dog as one of your interests. Can you tell us a little bit about your dog and what kind of role he's played in the candidate? Well, uh, love. <laughs> we have a sheep who that is the love of our life. We have a, something that we thought maybe you could try. I have no problems trying this on. If this, if this will make people happy, that's easy to do. Yeah. How's that? That looks good. Uh, just a few more questions. Uh, okay. Before you talked about uh, reforming drug policy, do you still use drugs yourself? Of course not. Well, basically, that's not so. I, I take uh, uh, pills because I have neuropathy, and uh, I use a leave because I have back pains every so often. So those are drugs. Thank you so much again, Senator. And for On Harvard Time, I'm Nelson Greaves. And I'm Mike Gravel.